hello everyone namaskar in this video again we'll see example on implementation of given function using our favorite complementary metal oxide semiconductor so here's the question y is equal to a plus b c into d whole power now to implement this we know the process we have two operators plus and multiplication and this is the scene that we already gone through we need a pmos and nmos right so when we have multiplication sign pmos will be in parallel nmos in series connection counterpart if we have addition operator pmos will be connected series nmos connected as parallel now we'll use this rule to implement our function let's start with this so here it is y is equal to a plus b c first we'll implement b into c this is in multiplication and for multiplication we know pmos will be in parallel so let's first draw b and c in parallel with each other this is a pmos with input b this is again pmos with input c these two transistor will arrange in parallel with each other done now this bc is in addition with a so for plus sign for plus sign you see pmos connected in series so here a will be in series with b and c so if it is in series let's draw first a transistor with input a in series with bc and sure we'll assign vdd now this entire combination is in multiplication with d so again for multiplication pmos will be in parallel so this entire structure will be in parallel with d so first we'll draw a pmos transistor with input d and let's arrange this in parallel So this becomes implementation using PMOS, only PMOS. Now we have to reverse it for NMOS. So now to reverse it, again start with the first operator. Here it is B into C. Now if we have multiplication sign, NMOS should be connected in series. So here we'll extend. First we'll draw for PC. Both these transistors will be in series. And basically they are NMOS transistors so this is our B this is C these two are in series now uh, this B plus C sorry B into C is in addition with A now for addition we need NMOS in parallel that means B C will be in parallel with A so somewhere here we'll draw A This is our NMOS with input A. So this BC is now in parallel with B and C. Finally, this A plus BC is in multiplication with D. Now again, for multiplication, we note NMOS will be in series. So this entire combination is now in series with D. So we can take from here or from here. So let's take from here. It will look something more attractive this is d and now this is grounded okay now let's take the output output will be at the center of nmos and pmos and nmos so here connected with y that is output so this is how we have implemented the given boolean function using cmos once again first pmos then nmos i hope you understood this thank you So we have second question a plus b into cd whole bar using cmos again the same principle either multiplication or plus so plus start with a plus b now for plus pmos will be in series so first we'll take a pmos transistor with input a similarly PMOS transistor with input P. These two are in series for plus.
now into c into d that means a multiplication operator for multiplication operator you can see pmos will be in parallel so this combination is now in parallel with c and d so first we will draw c here and here we are having d now this c and d are in parallel and this entire structure is again in parallel with a and b this is how it look like and this is a vdd so this is implementation using pmos now it's reverse, uh, reverse part implementation using nmos now again we'll start with this plus sign is there now if it is plus sign you can see nmos should be in parallel so a b in parallel with each other let's take from here this side will take nmos with input a this is nmos with input b these two are in parallel with each other this is how they are connected fine next this a plus b in multiplication with c and d now for multiplication nmos will be connected in series so first we'll draw c and d in series with each other this is c and this one is with input d now this cd is in series with a and b so we'll extend this line or we'll connect it and we'll ground this fine so this is using nmos and this is using pmos now we'll take the output output at the center so this is our output y so this becomes the implementation of given function using our cmos i hope you are really getting these examples thank you